are listening to Poetry to the Brim. Today, I'll be reading the poem, A Grackle Observed, by Liesl Mueller. This one is originally from her 1965 collection, Dependencies. I'm reading it from a copy of her new and selected poems, entitled Alive Together, which won the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry in 1997. A Grackle Observed by Liesl Mueller Watching the black grackle come out of the gray shade into the sun, I am dazzled by an unexpected sheen, yellow, purple, and green, with a comb of light silken's unspectacular wings, until he, unaware of what he means at this one peculiar angle of sun, hops back to his modest dark and leaves the shining part of himself behind, as though brightness must outgrow its fluttering worldly dress and enter the mind outright as vision, as pure light. So in this poem, the speaker considers what true observation and silence might entail, taking the case of watching a crackle in the sun. We find that there's more to observation of a crackle than just seeing the apparent colors change from how sunlight strikes his wings. For the speaker, the crackle, by quote, leaving the shining part of himself behind, unquote, is a metaphor for a different understanding of brightness. Brightness is more than just what gives off or reflects light. It's a metaphor for the understanding that human minds might have, if only for a moment, while watching something as common as a grackle. And this brightness is available if we are able to notice and accept more than simply the apparently shiny objects of the world. In other words, what is beyond appearance? What is formless? One interesting thing I noticed in this poem is how much Mueller is doing with sound. There's a ton of rhyming going on. Most lines have end rhymes with an adjacent line, such as sheen, green, dark, part, and outright, light. But there seems to be no observable pattern. The non-adjacent first and third lines end with grackle and dazzled, respectively, forming a slant rhyme. Lines that end with shade, unaware, and dress are outliers in that they are not rhymed. There is also some internal rhymes that buttress the poem in the first two lines and the second to last line. In the first two lines, there are two slant rhymes. In the first line, black grackle, and then gray shade in the second line. And then in the second to last line, there's the phrase mind outright. But in the final line, we see no internal rhyme. For me, this difference stands out. And in a way, the brightness that, quote, enters the mind outright as vision, as pure light, unquote, makes the vision and the pure light stand out so as to amplify the poem's conclusion. This is another great example of form enacting or enhancing the content, as we've seen in previous poems on the podcast. And in addition to sounds, there's really some great phrase making going on in this poem. The quote, comb of light silkens unspectacular wings, unquote. And the grackle is, quote, unaware of what he means at this one peculiar angle of sun, unquote. Peculiar angle of sun. I love that. Anyways, I really enjoyed this one. It's such a short but 
wise and effective poem that seems to say a lot about silence and understanding. A Grackle Observed by Liesl Mueller Watching the black grackle come out of the gray shade into the sun, I am dazzled by an unexpected sheen, yellow, purple, and green, with a comb of light silken's unspectacular wings, until he, unaware of what he means at this one peculiar angle of sun, hops back to his modest dark and leaves the shining part of himself behind, as though brightness must outgrow its fluttering worldly dress and enter the mind outright as vision, as pure light. Thanks for listening to Poetry to the Brim. If you enjoyed the show, please share it with a friend or two who might also enjoy it. If you read the poem differently and would like to share your thoughts with me or just have general suggestions about the show, I'd love to hear them. Feel free to message me on Twitter or Instagram at A-C-Y-A-N-L-I-G-H-T or email the show at poetrytothebrim at gmail.com. Also, you can find a full transcript of the episode on the website at podcast.poetrytothebrim.com. There, you can also subscribe to stay up to date by email for when I release a new episode, as well as find ways to support the show. All right. Thanks again. Until next time.